Hey everybody, I'm Jen, and welcome to the OpenSource.com Weekly Top 5. Do you want to know how the magic happens? Well, it's not rocket science, of course, but I thought you might like to hear about my process for creating this weekly top 5 video and article for you every week. So every Friday, I sit down at my desk, check out the stats and the chatter about the articles we published this past week, then I choose the 5 best ones to share with you. I type up the article, make a few tweaks, then have, head over to a vacant meeting room at Red Hat Tower to record the video. Next, I go back to my desk, send Alex the preview video for social media, then I add the full length one to this article. And there you have it, dear readers. Enjoy. So let's get to the top five. First, we have Organizational Learning, a New Perspective on DevOps. Gene Kim writes this insightful article on what an organization looks like that has fully developed and adopted organizational learning as a method for implementing better cooperation and communications between development and operations teams. Check out this excellent, excellent read by the author of The Phoenix Project, a novel about IT, DevOps, and helping your business win. At number four, we have five open source developers tell us how they got started. Do you remember what it was like when you first started out in open source? Noel Peatfield asked a group of developers for our Beginners to Open Source series to recount what it was like for them and what promoted them to start contributing to open source in the first place. At number three, we have an open source database for real-time applications. This is an interview by Jason Baker of Slava Achmet, the founder of RethinkDB the company with the same name as the open source project they cover, RethinkDB, an open source database with a specific purpose, serving data to real-time applications, whether those applications are video game backends, financial tools, or analytic suites. Learn more about how the choice of database has enormous implications for scalability, performance, and how the data itself can be queried in this interview. At number two, Blockly makes it easier to learn to code. Blockly is an open source library and the engine running many of the online tools used to introduce programming to people of all ages. In this article, Luis Ibanez interviews Neil Frazier from the Blockly developer team about how he got started at Google and what it looks like to work with groups like code.org. Finally, at number one, we have five specialized Linux distributions for computer repair. Blowing it out of the water this week is Joshua Holmes' article about five Linux distributions designed to put all programs you need for computer repair or backup and restoration in one convenient place. Many of them even have customized user interfaces to make the software easier to use. Check out these distributions. Clonezilla Live, Rest House, I think. Redo Backup and Recovery, System Rescue CD, and Trinity Rescue Kit. That's it for the top five this week, everybody. You can see all the articles in the notes below the video. You can also check out the article every Friday, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.